Using adaptive cruise control inside of Mercedes vehicles is a very straightforward process. Now this is the GLS 580, but the process is gonna work the exact same way across the entire Mercedes lineup. You've got your buttons along the left-hand side of the steering wheel. So you could push on off in order to toggle the system on or off. From there, there's a distance indicator. So it's how close or far are you away from the vehicle that's in front of you. I want you to think of it almost like a one Mississippi, two Mississippi type of a roll. So one means that you're about a second away versus four, you're about four seconds away. I tend to find resi regular residential streets are okay with level one. On the highway, I tend to jump between either two or three, just depending on the flow of traffic. But that's gonna be a matter of preference. The buttons are to the middle there, that's gonna be in order to set your speed or increase. So once you get to the set speed that you'd like to, you're gonna then push up or down, and then you can then increase or decrease by sliding your finger up and down this way. If you do a push and hold instead, so like a longer push, that's actually gonna jump you up or down 10 kilometers or 10 miles per hour at a time. And then you can cancel the speed out if you'd like to. You could then resume your previously set speed. You could hit the brake if you wanted to temporarily pause and then again, push up in order to resume your set speed. So let's take it out for a spin and I'll show you how it works in person. Love it. As of right now, so this is the sport mode inside of the cluster, but you can push the home icon there in order to move to different views. But if you want a full walkthrough on the steering wheel buttons, the cluster screen, the infotainment system, things like that, you'll find those walkthroughs down in the description of this video. Okay, here we go. All right, so the system's currently turned on. So I'm now going to set it. And if I push up, you can see there, it's jumped me right up to the next 10 essentially. So it's jumped me up to 50 kilometers an hour. I can push up again in order to get to 60, but we're in a 50 road. You could then gently slide your finger up or down to either increase or decrease one kilometer or one mile per hour at a time. From there, the cars in front of me are stopped at a light, so the vehicle should, in theory, start slowing me down in just a moment. So I'm only on level one. There we go, you can see there, starting to slow down. And I'm not doing anything, so the vehicle's slowing me down completely. And down we go. So it does have full stop and go capabilities with a few different options for the timing. So I'm on a res re regular residential street, which means that it's going to be good for three seconds. And then in order to go, you just push the resume button there. So if you, if you stop for longer than three seconds on a residential street, you have to push resume in order to go. On the highway, you can stop for up to 30 seconds before you have to hit the resume button. Otherwise, once the traffic picks up in speed, if it's less than three seconds stop or on the highway, less than 30 seconds, it's going to pick you right back up to your previously set speed and set speed right now is at 50 kilometers an hour, and I'm only going 44, 42, just because the cars in front of me are going slower. Now on the very top, you can see that there's a green steering wheel. That means that your hands are on the wheel, so you're paying attention. And then if the vehicle recognizes the lane markings, it's going to highlight green. And the big benefit of that system is it doesn't turn it into full self-driving, but I mean, it gets pretty dang close at the same time. So it keeps you nice and, nice and balanced in your lane as you go with that system turned green. So we've at least got the steering wheel green and the adaptive cruise control system going. Cars are gonna start moving in a second. So once they start, you're just going to push up in order to resume your previously set speed. And there we go. So in a nutshell, turn on or off. You've got your distance indicator, increase, decrease, either one kilometer, one mile per hour at a time, or you can jump up five or 10 at a time instead. You can cancel your speed if you'd like to. So you hit the brake instead in order to cancel your previously set speed. So it's very straightforward using it, but that's how you use the adaptive cruise control system inside of Mercedes vehicles. 